I'm going to show you how to give the assessment online. This is going to take a couple of steps. First, you have to set it up. So your test is created, it's all set up, and it's published. Now what? How do I make sure that it's assigned to those kids so that they can see it? I'm going to go into the assessments and I'm going to choose the one that I want to give. The ones that are ready will be green. The ones that I'm in progress, the ones that I've given to a few students are going to be yellow. And so it's this green one that I'm going to give. I'm going to come over here and remember if I hover over these it'll show me exactly what they do. I want this one, online administration. So I'm going to give this test online. I'm going to click on it. Now yours will be different. Yours will open up. You'll have one box here that if you click on it, it'll have all of your classes. So you can just select which classes you want to assign it to and then hit refresh and it'll do it. Me, to show you, I've got to change things a little bit. So you'll have this period button and that's all. But you'll have all your periods in there. They're already set up. They're already ready to go. Now, once I've done that, once I've selected the classes I want, it'll list all of my students down here. And by default, it lists all of your students in all of your periods. So if you want to go with that, that's great. So once you have it selected, you can either select students one by one, which would take forever, or you can just select all the students that are ready, that are set up, by hitting that button all students in all classes or whatever you have up here after you hit refresh. So I've hit that, now that's selected everyone. Now once they're selected I want to click activate. What this does for them is this shows it so when they log into School City into the student version of it, it one of their flip cards has, says take assessments. So if they click on that now this test will be listed there and they'll have the ability to go ahead and take that test and submit their score for grading. Now this is the same window. If you want to leave this up while the kids take the test, me, that's the way I would do it, is I would activate it right before they took it in class and then inactivate it after if I needed to. But it'll show how far they've gone and what item they're on. Now you might hit a point where students just sign off the computer, they just close it, and they don't submit it. If that happens, you can click there and you'll have the option to submit the scores. I can't because he hasn't even started, but you can click there and you can force a, force a submission for the kid if they've completed the whole thing but forgot to hit the submit button. And that's how you get it set up for them.